Hello, and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be talking about some kitchen things that I use a lot and love, with a couple honorable mentions. The first thing that I would like to talk about is this tower, only because I get asked about it so much. This is by Rachel Ray, and it's a stackable tower. I keep kosher salt, regular table salt, and pepper in here. I keep it on my countertop. I take this with me if I'm going to the other side of the counter. It makes me feel like a professional cook. You see people on, on TV, and you know, they're, they're pinching and sprinkling. It just makes cooking fun. And I keep this over here, right next to the stove. Highly reviewed, some reviews are mad because it doesn't look like the one in the picture, it looks more like mine. I did not pay $30 for it. I got mine on QVC on clearance, but I can't find it anyplace else. You can get it for $20.80 here in this option where it says used. My most favorite item, however, is something my mom got me from the Home Shopping Network. It is this magnetic, yes, magnet in the microwave, magnetic cover. I used to have one that was pink microwave cover with a little pig here and it would just sit right here in the bottom. If I was holding a baby, which is my life often, I would have one hand. I would be walking with a, with a plate of food and, and go to try to put it in the microwave and I'd be like, gosh darn it, that thing's in the way. Then I have to find a place to set this down. I have to move this out of the way. And in my apartment when I didn't have counter space, that was hard to do. There are instances where I don't need a microwave cover. It's never in the way and I never have to touch it or mess with it or take it out of the microwave to microwave something. It's just, it's so convenient. I cannot tell you how, how does this change my life in, in such a positive way. Here I am still holding a big baby. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm holding the baby and I've got my plate of food, I just open the microwave, put it down if I need it, or just leave it there if I don't. It's by far one of my m most favorite kitchen things. You know, it wouldn't be, here I am still holding this big baby. What is going on? The magnetic microwave cover, a fave. Something else that I love that is equally as dirty is this cookbook holder from OXO. My kids have drawn all over it. I like that it folds up so I can slide it right into the bookshelf when I'm not using it. It holds very big books, heavy books. It opens that much. Uh, when are you ever gonna have a book that wide? You're not. You've seen that I've used it 6,000 times. show what that looks like at the end of the video. My cookbook holder. It's not really necessary if you print a bunch of papers off Pinterest. You don't really need a cookbook holder, but I, I'm a huge cookbook person, so I, I love my cookbook stand. Here you can see I purchased it in 2014 and it's currently unavailable. I looked for it on Amazon, couldn't find it. I did see it on Mercari when I did just a general Google search for OXO uh, Good Grips pop-up cookbook holder. Maybe you can find something similar. The next item I'm going to talk about is something that I used to hate, but I've discovered that is I'm actually pretty okay with, and it's because it's a little tricky. These are also from Home Shopping Network. There are similar items on Amazon. So if I can find it on Home Shopping Network or QVC, I'll be sure to link them. These are strainers. The reason I didn't like these, I've had these for five years, six years, and I just hated them. But I think the trouble is I was using the wrong size. So here I've got a pot. All you do is clip this right here on the side. I've used this in some of my videos you've seen. If you use a strainer that's too small and you go to dump it in the sink, all your noodles will fall out. Annoying. I was just grabbing the wrong size. Now that I know my pots and the kinds of foods I'm making better, I'm able to grab the right size and it's not as frustrating. This is a good size, but at times as I'm draining it, some noodles, depending on how full my pot is, they still do spill over. If I use the super big one on here, it creates a weird little pockety loo. If I've got a ton of noodles in here, that allows space for the noodles to fall and it doesn't dump out. So as long as I'm using the right size, it still happens to me now and again, if I use a random pot, because I don't feel like washing my usual macaroni and cheese pot, and I'm not sure the size that goes with this and the amount of macaroni and cheese I'm using, I'll use the wrong size and then I'll lose a couple noodles of macaroni and cheese and I'm kind of annoyed. It's not a lot, but these are growing on me. But I think you really just have to familiarize yourself with them and their sizes. The ones I, I found on Amazon don't come in three different sizes. So I'm gonna try really hard to find these in, on the internet somewhere. What, what's the point of me showing you items that I love if you can't even find them for purchase, right? So three different sizes, depending on the size, you could either end up having a great time or just be super frustrated. 
and then you just unclip it and throw it right into the washing machine top rack dishwasher, which is awesome. There's nothing like having to wash the big strainer by hand or trying to put it in the dishwasher and then it takes up so much space you can't put anything else in the dishwasher. So these are really handy. An honorable mention are these Rachel Ray spoons. You clip them right there on the edge of your pot. Depending on how full your pot is, how thick the ledge of your pot is, it could still fall right inside your food. And there's something about having a silicone spatula in boiling water, even though it's heat resistant, I just, I don't like it. it. Gives me bad vibes. So if it doesn't rest straight up and down, or at least above my food, if it falls into the food, I'll take it off and put it on the spoon rest. And by spoon rest, I mean somewhere on the stove, and that's how my stove gets so dirty. So I really do like these in most instances where I don't have the pot super full, and it's not sitting in the food while it's resting, and in the pots where I have a thicker, if this was just a more narrow slat where you'd kind of have to like push it on like this, I think it would just be much better. But it's just so wide, uh, it's, you know, it's loose so that it doesn't just fall into the food, right? Something that'll keep it like this. That's why it's an honorable mention. In some instances, I'm like, what? That's awful handy. And then other instances, I'm like, why is it even resting there if it's just still in the food and stuff? I don't like that. So I put it to the side. And that's just my honorable mention by Rachel Ray. Both on QVC and on Amazon, they are $24.99 for three tools. However, on Amazon today, April 28th, 2021 in the USA, you can find the red ones for $14 on Super Sale. Maybe they'll still be there tomorrow. I'm not sure. Pampered Chef Everything Spreader. Love this. I only just recently purchased this, so I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but I, I mean, I have because I've used it almost, I've used it every single day, actually. I'm surprised. Pampered Chef tool that I have been absolutely loving. I use it all the time. I will put my friend, Courtney, I uh, bought it through her Pampered Chef storefront, and I'll put her link in the description. And like I said in my other video, I think I just posted in my last video, I'm like, why wouldn't you just use a butter knife to spread the butter or the cream cheese or whatever it is? And it's just like, no, man, because this is just so much better. It really is. So I'll put a link for that. My friend's storefront, Courtney, I don't sell Pampered Chef. I'll put her link in the description for this. Here I am sitting down now, and I totally forgot one of my most used and beloved kitchen items, and it's only because I just recently ruined it in a barbecue or fire. <laughs> this is the one I have, I found it. It's by Kun Rakan. It's the same brand as the can opener I have. Let me show it to you now. My replacement is on the way because I melted it when it sat next. It's just a fire, la la la, I melted it. Anyhow, I'm getting a new one because I love it so much. A manual food chopper is so convenient and I use it constantly. The amount of times I need something that's just small, convenient, and quick to chop up the stewed tomatoes because my husband doesn't like big tomato chunks, make a super quick marinade, for some steak on the grill. One and a half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon pepper, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon lemon juice, and two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And then I let her rip, mix it all up, and then I grilled steak. Or salsa, it's just so easy to use, so convenient, the perfect size, really easy to clean, and I love it so much. This is a kitchen thermometer. You don't necessarily need something as expensive as a thermopin. I think this was $75, but I use this every single time I cook. I hate overcooked meat and I'm worried to undercook meat. Every single time I cook, I'm using this. You don't need something this expensive. I do recommend digital. The little round ones that you stick, it's just hard to read. And you're like, is that 160 or 165? Like this could be the breaking point. Is it gonna be well done or is it gonna be medium well? But I never cook blindly. I don't really care. If a recipe says that I have to cook it in the oven for 350, 45 minutes, I use this instead of the timer and my food is never dry, overcooked, or I mine was done in about a half an hour. I use a little temperature checker to check the temperature because uh, I can't stand overcooked chicken. I think it's dry and disgusting, but like I said, mine was done way sooner than 55 minutes. I'm obsessed with this and I am totally blind without it. I love a digital kitchen thermometer. There are a lot of kitchen gadgets you don't really need. And you know, I guess I you some could say you don't really need this, but I will never make ground beef without this. I'm lost without it. I hate jabbing it with a wooden spoon. It just doesn't make any sense. This is like, of anything that I say to purchase, it would probably be this one hands down. I've bought this for so many people because like, they were skeptical and they're like, no, I'll just keep using my spatula. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. So many kitchen gadgets are just like, okay, sure guys, come on. But this one, this is my, this is my most used top fave must have kitchen item in the entire world.
and so many people have been put onto this. I purchased it for people. They've messaged me like, oh my gosh, thank you for telling me about this. I will never make ground meat the same. There's a lot of kitchen items I super love, but these were the ones that I thought of instantly that I use most often. Daughter's about to wake up, it's Wednesday, and if I want this edited and out tonight, I better get working on it now, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one.